Hey guys, it's Red Mobster, and today we will be using the ultimate tree bomb trap. And now what is a tree bomb? A tree bomb is a trap targeted specifically towards new players, or players new to a world more or less, who are trying to cut down a tree to get wood. And it's turning nighttime, so I better do that fast, I guess. Uh, so essentially what we do is we break the wood, and then soon we will find out that it is a deadly trap that will harm us and explode us. And it's very deadly. <laughs> now, the reason this is the more advanced version uh, in my uh, opinion, more than other tree bombs, is because of the speed and the deadliness of it. Not only does it leave a big crater, uh, the crater is expansive, you can put as much TNT as you want just to make a bigger crater, I suppose, uh, but it's relatively resource light, uh, it's relatively undetectable unless you dig around the tree, which most people wouldn't do when they're trying just to cut down a tree for their survivor day. And, uh, like I said, it's very fast, and I'll get to the tutorial on how to build it and why it's faster and stuff like that right now. Alright, now before we get to the actual tutorial portion of this video, I'm gonna explain why you might want to make mine over other traditional methods. Now this is a traditional method of making a tree bomb. Of course my tree building skills are a little bit lackluster, but uh, basically what you have is a liver on the bottom parts of a log. Now once you break this log, this redstone will turn off, uh, activating all of these torches, meaning it will not invert it anymore, and all that TNT will explode. Now the few downfalls of this system is that if I break a log up here, it's not gonna do anything. I have to break the bottom log, which is usually last in most people's log breaking experiences. They break this log, break this log, kill the rest of the tree, and then break the log below them, which might help, I guess, if they fall in the pit, for, but for the most part, it's, it's not as seamless and I don't really like it. Uh, but it is undetectable, considering you can hide the entire con redstone contraption. Uh, another thing is, if you listen closely, uh, I'll break it, and then for a couple seconds you'll hear fizz, which you wouldn't hear in my system because there is no fizzing, uh, and then it would also have a couple seconds where the TNT just kind of sits there and doesn't blow up, so it's kind of, uh, <laughs> I guess, not efficient. So I'll break this. And of course, I could just walk away if I really wanted to. It's a very slow system. So as a bare bones concept, this is pretty much the entire contraption. It's literally similar to the last one, except for uh, the <laughs> contraption below, of course. It's not working off an inverted uh, lever and torches and stuff like that. It's working off of the 12 block push limit of pistons. So on top of this normal piston being activated by a hopper clock constantly, uh, there's 13 blocks. And there's 14 including the leaf block, but leaf blocks do not, uh, you know, affect the 12 block push limit piston. So I can break this as much as I want. It's not going to do anything. So I'm just going to put it back, I guess. Uh, but once I break any one of these logs, uh, this piston will then push up this layer of blocks. Now, up here is a sign resting on this layer of blocks, and on top of that sign is carpet, and on top of that is a TNT minecart, which is the key to this entire system. So once this layer is pushed up, the sign will break, and so will the carpet, which will allow the TNT minecart to fall. Now, using the mechanics of TNT minecarts, which is if a minecart falls more than four blocks, it will explode. A TNT minecart, anyways, not a normal minecart. Now, that gets rid of the fizzing sound that occurs in that system, meaning uh, there is no redstone activating this TNT. It's only this TNT minecart exploding activating that TNT. It's also much, <laughs> it's also much faster than normal TNT activation. Uh, I don't remember the exact length of TNT exploding. It's a couple seconds at the least. Uh, uh, give or take a few ticks, um, but uh, this falling animation takes about a second, uh, so after you break this log, we'll clearly see how the whole system works. As you can see, it's much faster as well, so let's get on to building it. My redstone world's beginning to look a little bit like the surface of the moon. <laughs> Anyways, so for the purpose of this video, we're just going to build it in the sky like that version, but, uh, you know, knowingly, you'd probably want to build it on the ground where a tree actually would be, <laughs> so keep that in mind. So what we want to do is come up quite a few blocks, uh, at least to build this as a design. We'll put a tree, or a sapling rather, on top of the dirt block, bone millet, and then depending on the height of the tree, this design will change. So we have to count the wood blocks. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh, we need six more plus one. So yeah, so six wood blocks. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mark the twelve. Uh, and then a piston will go right here. Meaning that there's 13 blocks on top of that piston, give or take. I'm gonna recount just in case. Ah, I never know why I doubt myself, I was completely correct on the number 13. <laughs> so yeah, there's 13 blocks on top of this piston, and that's exactly what you want. Now you can break the rest of these, because they're useless. Uh, put a block like this, block like this, uh, get a hopper clock going like that, a comparator going into the piston, 
and then you throw whatever item you want in there. Now, of course, this piston will not be activated because there's 13 blocks on top of it, but once we break one, the system will then push up. Now, next, what you want to do is go ahead and make your little uh, land around it. That way you know where to put the sign and the TNT and the minecarts and stuff like that. Um, the key is you want to put the log on top of this little layer. You don't want the log to be coming down here or anything like that. You could, I guess, but uh, for the most part, if you want a taller tree, uh, make it more inviting, <laughs> I guess. So once you have that done, you want to get a sign, you want to get carpet, you want to get a rail, preferably, <laughs> and do a little number like this. Sign, carpet, break these two blocks so you can come in here, uh, go ahead and switch out one of these blocks, get a rail on top of that, a TNT minecart. Now this will not explode because it's only falling two blocks, but like I said, it needs to fall at least three or four, a little bit more than three, I think. It's maybe either three and a half or four, uh, but for the most part, we just drop it down like that. Get my rail back, I don't know why, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, and then you can just cover that back up, and then you wanna just rail TNT all the way around this. Uh, you can really put as much as you want. I like to put two layers like this. I think it's sufficient. <laughs> and then what you want to do is count four blocks. So it's one, two, ooh, lag. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth block, you want to put a block. So that means it falls four blocks and it will land on that block. And when it does that, it will explode and hit this TNT. Just in case, I'm going to put some right here just to make sure it hits it. It should hit it, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> so we got that, and that is it. That's the entire system. Everything is done. <laughs> so once we break this block, it'll push up and we'll blow up before we have a chance to run away. Very deadly. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I really have for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this concept, leave a like. Don't forget to comment down in the comment section below with any ideas. Maybe I can try to do something interesting with them, and that's all I really got. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video.